we start by creating our sketch on the set Y plane and we will create a polygon. You can find a polygon under the rectangle submenu and we make it 30 wide. Leave our sketch and now we change our in work object to our main body and we will extrude the sketch by using pad make it thick thickness 4 neutral fiber and mirrored extent just because it's centered then okay now what we simply have to do is we will use a pattern on our set Y plane and the spacing has to be 30 instances we say 50 and now this one is important if we click on on more here we can choose our uh, instances in the other direction let's say 25 and now this option is very important. We need to set the angle to 60 degrees. So we get a nice diagonal shape like this. And we hit OK. Now, the only thing left is we need to pattern it again, but this time without the angle. So we choose the same options, same reference plane, same instances in the other direction. Now the issue with this method is, and the reason why I choose so many instances to show you is that it's very inefficient in terms of using a lot of processing power to calculate all the different instances. Okay, now we are done. And now I want to show you the second way. So we hide our main body. We insert a new body and we will reuse our sketch one. So we show this one again. We extrude it again, but this time without thickness. We also make it mirrored, okay? And this one will be our subtraction body. So we actually do the same again as in the other one. We pattern it same reference plane but we need to change the spacing to something that is greater than 30. If we do 30 we don't have a rip let's say 34 more same instances in the other direction and also again we need to set the rotation angle to 60 degrees and now we pattern it again without setting an angle and instances in the other direction. And now what we have is our negative body or our subtraction body that we will remove from our second body that we insert now. And now we can create, for example, also again a polygon inside this second body. Let's say we make uh, something like this. That looks kind of cool, so we make it also symmetrical. Leave the sketch. And now we will extrude this newly created polygon. Make it also mirrored. 20 is okay. And now what we do is we remove body 2 from body 3. And now what we have is something that looks like this. As you can see, that was way quicker in terms of calculation than our previous method here. So yeah, that was method number two. two. Now method number three, we need to change our uh, workspace to generative shape design. Now we will reuse sketch one again. And what we do is we will extrude it using the extrude function. 
one is okay. We will make it mirrored again. Okay. And now, same as before, we will use a rectangular pattern. Same reference plane, same instances, same instances in the other direction, and the angle option. Okay. Now this one is important as well. There's a difference between in solid. We cannot simply use a pattern again on a pattern. What we need to do is we need to join the pattern with the extrude and we need to uncheck check connectivity. Okay. Now we have one surface and we can pattern this newly created surface again using the same options as before. 50 instances and 25 in the other direction and this time no angle okay okay so now we need to do the same again we need to join the newly created pattern with our previous join because what you can see now the pattern is just these two sides without the middle one so we join them check connectivity unchecked and hit okay and now what we can do is we can, for example, create a new sketch on the set Y plane and create a rectangle and fill this one. And now what we can do is we can use this newly created surface and split the honeycomb from our newly created surface to get something that looks like like this one here or if we double click on the split function and click other side we have the opposite as a result so yeah that's basically three different ways or methods how you can create a honeycomb. I hope it helped you and see you in the next one.